Well, I first discovered my own experiences of, of the mandala work uh, when I realised I needed to be in two places at once. And the challenge of that and the discomfort of that um, was a real teaching for me when I stepped into the chaos of it. And I started to work locally in little garden yurts, exploring how it was and what I, what I could do with it in order to create a process from it. This is the first time that I've brought the mandala work to Amsterdam. I feel like it's been really well organised. Your, um, your presence there has really brought mm. in something very special. I can hold with a lot of care. And that's just an archetype that's very familiar for me. Mm. And that's what I bring. Like the cauldron and you bring the soup. <laughs> <laughs> the mandorla for me is, um, it, it feels a very powerful tool and very strong medicine. Mandorla simply means almond in Italian. It's the shape that two circles create when they come together. And it's in that place that we feel the conflict of the two opposites. So I invite the dancer to step into that place and experience what it really means to be with the conflict in their life and to find healing from that. Once you see objectively what's going on, you can begin to move with that, allow the dancer to inform you about the things you might need to say, the things you might need to do in your life that will make significant changes to you. Those that come in to support, those that hold the wider circle, are all participating and all receiving back some wisdom about themselves within it. Uh, then change happens, like opening a black box and just the medicine jumps out of it and, and the beauty and the gifts of it. Because she's such a strong and extraordinary woman uh, and having basically all archetypes within her, uh, but in such gentleness and softness, but with an immense wisdom and an immense, in, immense strength um, with that. She is able to bring you to this place and at first feel really soft and gentle and oh, I wonder if really something is happening, but then it just, it, it really kicks in and you, well, it kind of goes like this and then you drop, you drop into a place and, and she's really holding it. I use uh, the MESA practice of stool and movement medicine work. That really helps to inform people about the, the dance that's going on inside us and it helps us to connect with what's around us and with our communities, with those that are there to support us in the wider circle. The way I feel now it's about um, real change on the cellular level, like really the magic of uh, the ability we all have to choose for change. So when we step into those constellation pieces, we're not there to perform something, we're not there to make something happen as such or to plan it. We just trust the dancer to show us the next steps. It was, it was wonderful to, to, to create uh, something because I'm an artist so I, I like to visualize what's in, uh, going in me, the emotions and in my head and so, so making the collage just um, made me interacting with my inside, with my thoughts. I was surprised that uh, my story was speaking to me again in a totally different way. If we can just allow ourselves to step into the mandala of that and be with that energy, then there is such healing for mm -hmm. us to, to um, encourage with each yeah. other.